Retailers say shoplifters may end up costing you money as they increase prices to counter theft. And retail theft is a growing problem in Texas, costing businesses billions every year. It's often destructive and connected to organized crime. And lawmakers say the laws in place are just not enough to stop it. Our Ryan Chandler reports on what the state can do to protect stores and customers. Scenes like this have gone viral usually associated with places like LA or San Francisco. But the third worst place for retail theft in the nation? Houston, Texas. Texas is globally known for having a strong, gross domestic product. We cannot cede this asset to the criminal underground. And it's a growing statewide problem. Back in 2007, Texas created a new penalty for organized retail theft. The crime cost businesses an estimated two and a half billion dollars back then. But the problem has only gotten worse after that law. In 2022, businesses lost nearly six billion dollars to theft. Today, it's estimated only two percent of retail thieves are caught. These are not just statistics, but these represent lost jobs, higher prices for consumers, and deprived communities. Right now, theft under $100 is only a citation offense. Sometimes dozens of people organize to steal a small amount, and they each just get tickets if they're caught at all. And I'm losing my patience. Lawmakers are considering raising the penalties and lowering the monetary thresholds to jail thieves. One Houston senator growing frustrated, blaming local judges for how they enforce current law. We are not getting people to the punishment phase and getting these people off the street because that's what the problem here is. And I want everybody to hear it. Ryan Chandler, KXAN News. And recently, the Texas Comptroller's Office assembled a task force with representatives from companies like Amazon and HEB to analyze this problem. Lawmakers could start work on new bills to combat the problem when they return to work in January.